YouTube. They do. If you're my fan, welcome back. You new to the channel? Call me Kim for a salute. Now, a lot of y'all brought this to my attention uh, yesterday, referring to the Young Dolph video. Um, so apparently, Young Dolph, Mo3, and King Von have something in common. You know what I'm saying? And we're going to explore that. But first, I just want to show y'all something interesting that I found out. Um, Bush would Bill blast his label over a life insurance policy. So he says his record label made itself his beneficiary. Industry industry sources say practice is rare, but not unusual. And this was back in 1998. You see what I'm saying? So this is probably it's probably a more, you know, uh, relevant thing now. But this was back in 98. They said it's not unusual for a record label to have li a life insurance policy on that artist and naming their selves the beneficiary. Imagine if you had a job, right? Imagine if you had a job, because usually when you got a job with benefits and you have a life and you have life insurance, usually you get to name who's the beneficiary maybe your wife your husband your kids you see what i'm saying you get to choose who's the beneficiary to if, if something was to happen to you like shit i was in the military for about three years i'm not in the military no more obviously but i signed my life away to the to the to the military bro and even i had a choice of who i wanted to 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 benefit you see what i'm saying my mother would have had a hundred percent she'd have got four hundred thousand dollars if something would have had to happen to me, you see what I'm saying? So even then you get to choose who's the beneficiary to your life insurance. So why is record labels making their artists? The bit there, why are record labels making themselves the beneficiary to their life insurance? So let's see what, um, what Bushwick had to say. So he, he said, I think it's unconscionable to have this type of clause in an artist contract. I think it often makes the artist worth more to a record label dead than alive. And now we also got an artist, um, Crooked Eye. He's a part of a uh, horseshoe game. He he he's a dope ass artist, bro. Like he can he can really spit for real. But he said in 2011. So this is what 13 13 years later. Now he's saying I think it's funny how record labels provide health insurance but have life insurance policies on their artists. So he's even saying the same thing. So is this a, is this a um, reoccurring thing in the industry? This seems like a, 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 a common thing. He's saying it's funny how record labels, he's not saying a specific label. He's saying record labels don't provide health insurance, but have life insurance policies on their artists. He said he was sick and needed financial assistance because he didn't have proper health insurance to cover his bills. So these these labels are milking these artists. But you saying, but you saying, look, oh me, I'm capitalizing off of these artists, off of these artists death. But but look at what these record labels are doing. You're not mad at them, though. You see what I'm saying? When they when they the ones that's really profiting, you see what I'm saying? I'm just bringing this shit to light. So y'all, so so somebody that's an aspiring artist don't get themselves in this type of fucked up predicament. You see what I'm saying? And to wake the people up on what's really going on. But y'all mad at Lil Kim folk for making for making uh, uh two three videos. I'm capitalizing, but look at what these record labels doing. Like, come on now. But so uh now on to King Von, right? So King Von, mode three. And Young Dolph all have something in common. They all had intertwinings <clears throat> with Empire, and they also own their masters. Each one of them, they own all their royalties and their masters. Kids and families, they're going to be taken care of. They're going to be good. They straight. You hear me? Now, I know it says right here, Mo3 bought out of his epic deal. He bought out of his, out of, out of his epic deal and later on signed with uh, Empire. You see what I'm saying? Now, what does what does owning your masters mean? Right. So as an artist, owning your masters gives you the legal rights to freely appropriate and maximize your money making opportunities with the master recording. You can license the recording to third parties like TV shows, films, commercials or even for sampling use by other artists. 
If your masters belong to someone else, like the record label, the music producer, or sound engineer, then they have the right to license out the recording and collect the royalties, right? So usually when an artist uh, signs a record label, they sign their, their, their masters and their publishing, they give it away because they not even reading what's in the clause. They not even getting a lawyer that has their best interest. They getting the, they getting the lab, they getting the lawyer from the, from the label that's getting paid from the label. So obviously they're going to, they're going to assist in fucking you over. And that's what a, a lot of artists don't do. So evidently they had some either, either had, they had the sense or somebody around them advised them like, Hey man, you need to make sure you get your masters and your publishing. You see what I'm saying? Cause a lot of these artists like juice world. Now, now you want to talk about somebody capitalizing off, off of somebody death. And I don't need, I don't even think, I don't even think juice world dead for real. Cause this nigga made a tweet. You feel me? Talking about my goal is to get overly famous, shine for a couple years, then fake my death. He said this in 2017, and this is his real account. I can, you, you see how I'm hovering over this? This is his real account. You know what I'm saying? He still has his tweet up. He never deleted it. You see what I'm saying? But you know what I'm saying? Uh, Juice World, he just dropped the song six days ago. Talking about he already did. So was his death already planned? But see, but see how these, but but see how these uh, record labels capitalize off of this though, because Juice World doesn't own his I masters. I started growing out my hair when I was about. Bro, I, I don't say, care about you growing old. your motherfucking the hair. Reason why bro, is stop I showing did... me this shit. God damn. Um, that's like the fifth time, bro. Like, shut the fuck up. I want to close that shit. But anyway, um, so Juice World doesn't. He didn't own his masters. He was signed to. He was signed to Interscope. You see what I'm saying? So he did not own his masters. So see how record labels they can. I don't know if it, I don't know if his death is fake. I think so. You see what I'm saying? But see how they can build the hype up over the artists. And now now they're continuously dropping music in his name and collecting the royalties off of it. He has an album coming out soon. You see what I'm saying? So this is why I think I think artists. You know how I, they say all the time that artists. Man, man, my label, they not letting me drop music. I think this is why. They sign your ass to, you You gonna make five albums, but we only gonna drop two of them bitches. We gonna get your ass out the way, and then we gonna drop the other three. You feel me? So we can capitalize off of the royalties and keep making money off of you. Like they said, you worth more dead than alive. You see what I'm saying? So maybe that's why his death was, 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 was faked. You see what I'm saying? That could be a possibility. You see what I'm saying? But King Vine, King Vine, Mo3, and Young Dolph, they all own their masters, bro. So they, so if you if you if you stream their music, you listen to their music on Apple Music, their family's gonna get those royalties. You see what I'm saying? So they kids, they kids still gonna be good, you know what I'm saying? They're gonna be good, bro. Even though it's 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 under um, you know, some unfortunate circumstances, you see what I'm saying? But you know, at least at least they 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 at least they handled the business aspect correctly. You see what I'm saying? They made sure they got their masters, bro. So maybe maybe because they own their masters, maybe that's why they were sacrificed for their life insurance policy. I don't know. That's that's just a theory. That's just a theory. You see what I'm saying? And another weird thing, King Vaughn, mode three. And Young Dolph all died in November. Five days, five, five days apart. Five to six days apart. Damn near, you know what I'm saying? Five days apart, each one. You see what I'm saying? And they made sure that these guys, you know, majority of these, these, you know, hood rappers, they always die in their hometown. Ain't that weird? You know, they always make sure they die in their hometown. So to, to the regular person, you would just write it off like, Oh man, they were just hating on him, man. They were just hating. You see what I'm saying? He shouldn't have been in the hood. You see them? That's that's what mo most people say. You know, when they when they when they show these people die in their hometown, that's that's how people write it off. Like, oh man, they shouldn't have just they should have just not been in the hood. But really, it's something shady going on. Why is these why is these record labels? Why do these record labels have life insurance policies where the record label is the beneficiary? Not the family, not the mother, not the father, not the kids. 
Like I signed my life away to the military and I still, my mother was still the, the, the beneficiary if something happened to me. That's just, that's just very strange, bro. But that, that's just something to think about. You know what I'm saying? Like maybe that could have been the case. You see what I'm saying? Maybe that could have been the case. But that's it for this video, man. Y'all, shit, man. I don't even know what outro I should do now because I don't, this ain't no reaction. You feel me? But y'all let me know what other, what other issues I should cover, what other, uh, uh, conspiracy theories <laughs> you know what i'm saying yeah, that's what they like to call it all the time you know what i'm saying what else should i cover man so that's it man y'all let me know and shit i'm out